do you want to know how these people became superstars? Making a lot of money, doing that thing? Well, it only takes one thing, and I'm about to tell you, so stay tuned. R&B and hip hop, all four of them have something in common, songs. Stars build on this success by going to the studio and making a hit song and putting it on CD. Well ladies and gentlemen, there are many steps to come. Step one, writing. Hello and welcome to today's edition of How Do I. You all have to hear this fantastic process, so don't jump out of your seat just yet. I'm about to give you the steps on how to make a CD of your own. Let's take a look. Song. Step 2. Make a beat with either a keyboard or a music program. Step 3. Put a CD in the CD-ROM drive. Step 4. If you have a person sing in the mic with headphones. Step 5. Then mix it. Step 6. You then use a CD burner. Step 7. Open the CD-ROM drive. Step 8. You have a recorded CD. To start a CD, you first need the lyrics. Write down the words before you start anything else in this. Let's uh, watch. Step one, write a song. Be in a place where there's enough light. Then sit down. And then start with a pencil and white paper. Then start writing down lyrics. The next step is the music integration of the background instruments. After that, you then make a beat with a keyboard or a music program. There are three steps, rhythm, tone, and song bank, that are in the keyboard. Then there are tones to choose from, from the keyboard. The program that you need is called Garage Band. Put the when it comes to making a CD, the next step is very simple. Let's take a look. Put the CD in the CD-ROM. Have a blank CD. Put the CD in the CD-ROM drive. Then close the CD-ROM drive. Step four involves the mechanics, which means we need a mic and headphones. This is what a singer needs when recording a song in the studio. a person singing with a mic and headphones. Put in mic wire in mic. It is connected to the microphone. Then put in the headphone wires. Then sing on the mic while having headphones on. After the singer records, it's time to use a computer to set up the vocals in the music background. You then mix the CD. To mix it, all you have to do is match the vocals with the instrumentals. The waves that go up, the waves that move are your frequencies of the way you are singing and we have a few steps to go, so stay seated. Next up is the mixing process. You use a CD burner. First, click on line wire. Then a pop-up will come up. We'll get started. Then you go to audio. Then a selected a project comes up. Then the program, then the burner. Press burner and it will come and will copy to your CD. The next step is easy as well. Let's take a look. Open 
the CD-ROM, take out CD, then, then close the CD-ROM drive. Step 8 is when all the elements are in place. You're almost at the finished product. Finished CD. Place it in a case and you have a recorded CD. We've just heard a process that you could basically do at home instead of being in an actual studio. I have to say for you, for me, that's what we're going to keep on rocking until the sun goes down.